Hello, hi guys, I hope you're good. My name is Mbuselo Villagazi and thank you so much for taking your precious time to join me. All right, yesterday I did a video whereby I was speaking about the speculations surrounding Zozibini's absence at this year's Miss SA pageant. All right, you'd remember that yesterday we spoke about the wardrobe drama her being undervalued and the way she was treated during the crown chases, all right? And we even spoke about that there's a certain stylist whom was not paid and apparently the stylist um, had to direct an invoice to Zozibini Tunzi, all right? But now this is a response from Miss uh, South Africa organization, all right? Um, there is an article that is released right now by IOL um, Entertainment, and this is what they're saying, okay? They consulted, or rather they approached uh, Miss SA, and this is a response they got, all right? Zozibini Tunzi is an in-demand, okay, personality with a full schedule. Other than that, the Miss SA organization cannot speak to Miss Tunzi's calendar, no so social media activity. However, she is always welcomed and celebrated at any Miss South Africa event. Hmm. All right, now let us find out what is um, Zozi's management saying, all right? Okay. Tunzi's team, in response to our questions, maintained their strict stance uh, of not commenting on speculative matters, all right? This is what they're saying. Our focus remains dedicated to ensuring our client, Miss Tunzi, is not subject of untoward discourse in the public domain. Full stop. Guys, someone here is not telling the truth. Someone is not taking accountability here. Um, I understand Zoz's team for their stance to say, you know what, we're not going to comment because I think they do not want to bend bridges. You know, <laughs> I think that's the thing. They do not want to bend bridges with the Miss SA organization. And they don't want to say certain things probably that, that are going to expose people. Um, it is so sad, guys, that at times you have to be quiet, you know, because you're expected to be classy. She's a, she's a former Miss South Africa. She's expected to be, you know, to uphold a certain image. And at times people are not expected to speak out. I really hope that these allegations are just allegations, all right? But if Gambella, yeah, was not treated in the right way, she deserves justice. And it's sad to see that the management, even her management does not really want to speak out. I think obviously she's got a good PR team. They do not want to, um, Zosie to be subjected to, um, because guys, the entertainment industry, there's a lot of gatekeeping. You know, you just press the one person the wrong way, you rub them the wrong way. And unfortunately, um, you find a lot of difficulties in your career. I like what Zoz is doing right now, but at the same time, people must not be subjected to injustice. All right, guys, I wanted to update you on that. That's the response from Miss South Africa. They're just saying we cannot control a calendar, you know. So basically, they are basically saying Zoz probably was busy with something else. All right, guys, just send your thoughts in the comment section below. I love you so much, and may you continue to stay blessed. Salute.